In this video, we're going to be learning how to reverse a string using a stack. We're also going to be learning about what a stack is, and we're going to be seeing an example of how to use a stack to do something useful. In our case, we're going to learn how to reverse a string. So a stack is a really simple data structure. It's one of the first ones you learn about. And a stack is a collection of items. We can add items to the stack using a push method, and we can remove items from the stack by popping them off with the pop method. But usually stacks only have two methods. So push is how we add data to the stack and pop is how we remove it. So if we push A onto the stack, then we push B and then we push C and then finally D. Now we have a stack with four items in it. So if I wanted to remove A from the stack, I can't just remove A. All I can do is push and pop. Pop removes the item that's at the top of the stack. So in order to remove A, I have to first remove D, then C and then B and then finally I can remove A. So if I pop D, pop C, pop B, and finally, now there's one item in the stack. So A is the top of the stack. So now if I pop the stack again, I get the value A. So it's this LIFO property of stacks, this last in first out property, which is what makes stacks really suitable for what we want to do, which is to reverse a string. Because everything that's pushed onto the stack will be popped off it in reverse order. So our input is the word hello and the output is over here, it's the reverse. And so the first thing we do is we push the letter H onto the stack, then E, then L, and then another L and then O. So we've pushed all of our data onto the stack. And now I want to get that data off the stack. And the only way to do it is to pop it off. So I pop the data and you can see that it just naturally is reversed because everything's popped in reverse order to the order that it was pushed onto the stack. So let's have a look at the Python code for this. So here is some Python code, which just runs a loop, which continually asks for input and then it reverses that input. So here is the part where we push our characters onto the stack. Using Python's built-in list to simulate our stack, the append function is our push function. It's just called append in Python. After we run this loop, our stack is full of characters. And then here, all we're going to do is we're going to pop them off the stack and append them onto the output string. Because we've used a stack, they'll automatically be in reverse order. So here, I'm just gonna type in a string. We're gonna see it printed back in reverse. We'll try another one and it does exactly the same. So what we've done is reverse a string, but we can also do lots of other things with stacks, like we can check for matching parentheses. So an implementation of that will be on howcode.org and there'll be a link in the description. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are added. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.